All right, season four of Supernatural. This is when the mythology of the show started to expand a little more. We've had demons in the past. Now, we move on to angels. Uh, so, about a year later, Dean wakes up. Uh, and he, he, like, rises from the grave. Li grave, literally. And he goes to an abandoned gas station where he gets blown out of it by a loud noise. Uh, he reacquaints with Bobby, who thinks that he's, Bob, you know, that uh, Dean may be like a demon or something. And they uh, reconnect with Sam, who is with a strange woman. Uh, they believe it's just like someone that he paid to be there or something, you know. We find out something different later. Uh, and again, Sam tries to do the stab him, stuff like that. Uh, but it's him. And eventually they find out that an angel named Castiel reached in and brought him out because they need Dean to stop the demon Lilith and stop her from bringing forth Lucifer. Meanwhile, Sam is with Ruby, who is in a new vessel of the same woman that they meet that is at the hotel room. She pretends to be someone else, but it's Ruby in a new vessel. Uh, through flashbacks, we find out that she, this woman was a coma patient. She was going to die. She just died, and she took over her body. So, you know, not an innocent person, someone who's dead already. It works. Um, so, this season really delves into the biblical side of the mythology. I'm going to grab the book out here for a second. It's... There's still a lot of good stuff in this season. Uh, yeah, there's an episode where they were attacked by vengeful spirits of people they were unable to save, like the original Meg, or Hendrickson, or Ronald from Season 2, who was in the Shifter episode in Season 2. Uh, yeah, uh... Episode 3 has Castiel cast sending Dean back to 1973 in Lawrence, Kansas, where he meets a young John Winchester and Mary Winchester with Mary Campbell. This is where he finds out that Mary's family, the Campbells, were hunters. Uh, which I always thought was kind of cool. I'm like, you know. And this is where we find out there's a connection. Uh, in the season two finale, Sam is brought back to the night uh, where Mary was taken. And when she sees Yellow Eyes, she says, it's you. Well, here we find out where that comes from. So Yellow Eyes takes over the body of uh, Mary's father, Samuel Campbell. Yes, Mary's parents are Samuel and Deanna. Sam and Dean. Yeah, that's where they get their name from. So, uh... And he breaks John's neck. So she makes a deal with him that in 10 years, in 1983, which is where this whole thing started, he will come for her, uh, and he's gonna do something. And that's what, you know, we find out that... In season two, I guess I got to mention that he bled into Sam and all the other demons that gave him their powers, you know. Uh, but yeah, nice little connection there. Metamorphosis is an episode I do not want to watch, so I'm not going to talk about it. It's not a very good episode. Monster Movie is an old black and white style film. I did a black and white style episode, I should say. Uh... This is a style of black and white fil film. I did, I did a, a commentary on it, so go watch that. It's really good. Yellow Fever is where, uh, you know, 
it's it's where you get the it's the eye of the tiger that that uh old song and dance it's a great pumpkin it's the great pumpkin sam winchester is the halloween episode which is also really good wishful thinking has the talking teddy bear um uh, i know what you did last summer that's the flashback episode shows everything that sam and dean or Sam went through. Heaven and Hell introduces us to a... Yeah, Anna, who's actually an angel. Whose memory was wiped. And... Um, that plays into next season at some point. Family Remains. I remember that one. That one's... Uh, yeah. Pretty good one. Family was into a house and there's something in the house. Chris Angel was a douchebag at Barry Bostwick. As a magician and people die... When he does his tricks, turns out there's someone else siphoning off that power. After school special, they go back to a, they do a case at one of their high schools where, uh, uh, they used to go to. Sex and violence, uh, Iowa, small town, that takes a holiday, no one dies, head of a pin. Uh, on the head of a pin, it deals with what, um, uh, Dean did when he was in hell for all that time. It was, I don't remember the exact number, but it was way, way longer that he was in hell than it was. It was like one year here, and for there it was like over a hundred years, I think. And, uh, he eventually got forced into torturing in hell. And we meet Alistair, who originally was played by Mark Ralston, now played by Christopher Heyerdahl. Better choice. Uh, and, yeah. And, uh, this one, uh, angels are getting murdered. And, uh, so Dean has to put his torture skills to the, uh, test and torture Alistair to get information. It's a terrible life is a reverse episode where Sam and Dean are two unrelated people in a normal world that work in an office building and have to hunt down a demon. It's pretty cool. Uh, Monster at the End of the Book. This is where you meet Chuck Shirley and find out that all the exploits in the past four, three and a half years are in these books written by a prophet named Chuck Shirley. Chuck, Chuck Shirley. We find out he's more later, but he comes in handy for this. He jumped the shark. We find out that the boys have an illegitimate brother named Adam. He does come in handy next season, but, uh, yeah. He ends up dead. Uh, the Rapture, Castiel wakes up in his, uh, um, Jimmy wakes up in his own body, Castiel gone, and he tries to go back to his family, but it doesn't work, this is where we meet his, her, his daughter Claire, uh, but yeah, um, it was a trap, and angels are after, demons are after him, you know, stuff like that, when the levy breaks, Okay, so, okay, now I can talk about this. So, they find out that Sam is drinking demon blood to boost up his powers and using to send demons back to hell without killing, without killing the vessels. But he's drinking demon blood to do it. And so now they have him locked inside the panic room and Ruby has been manipulating him. And by manipulating, I'm saying manipulating because as it turns out, Ruby has been working for Lilith the entire time. This season has Lilith opening up 66 seals. Because, you know, 66, 66 seals. And Lilith is the 66th seal. Her death will open up and the portal, whatever, for Lucifer to come free. So, without hesitation, Sam kills... Uh, Lilith, before Dean and Bobby can get there, and Castiel, Dean, Bobby, and Cass could get there, and, but Cass, I don't know what's going on with Cass at this point, do we? Because, like, we also meet Zechariah in this season, he's a dick, but yes, um, Dean joins Castiel and Zachariah to take on Lucifer. Lucifer. I don't know what Bobby is doing. 
Uh, but yeah, uh, is Crowley in this season or is that next season? Huh. I don't know, I think he's in next season. But anyway, um, yes. So, Lucifer is released, this big white light pops up, and the season ends. All in all, season four is a decent one. I'm going to give it a B. Because I think it's a step down from the first three. But it's still decent. You start bringing in the lore of the angels and everything. I remember when I first saw I'm like, angels. There's an episode in season two that goes out of its way to show you that angels don't exist. Only for then now. Oh, two seasons later. Angels exist. So that episode in season two you, doesn't have a lot of rewatch value anymore. So. I don't know. But yeah. Uh, this is a decent season. Gets a B from me. So what are your thoughts? On season four of Supernatural, let me know in the comments below. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I've been Scotty. See you in the next one.